guys welcome to my channel so i'm just doing a review on the bed shore electric blanket um i'm just going to show you guys how to connect it how it works and my opinion on the blanket so it comes in this box right here and in the box comes a user manual I'm um, gonna make sure you read it because even though it's like a plug-and-play still you just need to make sure um, you read the instructions so you won't burn anything or there won't be any issues so this is basically um, give me instructions on the remote here this is the remote it has two wires one connects into the blanket which is down here Make sure it snaps in and make sure it aligns um, with the hole here. When you do use it, um, make sure that it's laid out flat because it's not supposed to be um, crunched up or folded because it does have like the wires inside that keeps it nice and hot and you don't want to mess that up. So I'm just going to plug this in really quickly. Alright, so I plugged it in and this is the remote here. And it's connected down here to the bottom. Alright, so this is the power button. This is for the temperature. It goes all the way up to 6. I usually start it off on 3 because it doesn't get too hot. But you can rise it up if you feel that it's not warming up fast enough. But when you put it on 6, it gets really, really hot. Uh, make sure if you're laying down with it, you don't have the remote on top of the blanket because the remote will get hot. Okay, so this is for the timer. It goes up to 4 hours. You could adjust it here. And that's it. It's very simple. Um, the only thing I don't like about it is the wire is not that long for the plug, so you definitely need um, an extension cord. Um, it says not to use no extension cords or anything like that, but if you're just using it for a little bit of time, you could definitely use that. Um, so the material on here is polyester, but it's fleece on the top and bottom. It's nice and soft. And it's machine washable. You have to pre-soak it for 15 minutes in mild soap and cold water. And then you can machine wash it on slow cycle for two minutes. So you definitely would have to monitor your wash machine while you do this. And when you rinse it, you rinse it in fresh cold water. And then you dry it on like a low cycle. It gives you instructions on the manual here on how to dry and wash there's also instructions on the blanket itself so this is how it looks connected and if you're trying to warm yourself on the bed don't cover this i use it at night sometimes when it's really cold i will put this blanket on me and then i will put a blanket over it so it could get warmed up faster but i wouldn't cover this part here i wouldn't cover this and i make sure i turn it off as soon as i'm done but to keep it nice and warm and hot I would say keep the blanket on you just unclip this and once you unclip it make sure you unplug it because this will be lighting up this is basically an error code so if this pops up that means something is wrong with either the wire or it's not come connected completely um, it fits on a twin size bed up to the chest so this is the bottom of the bed and it goes up to the top here but it stops like at the chest part so it's just a throw, it's not a full size like blanket, it's just like a regular throw blanket. Also when you're going to store it away, make sure that it's nice and cool down already. Don't close it up when the coils are still hot because it can mess up the coils and then the whole blanket won't work at all. Um, they do have a warranty on the manual. I really recommend it. It works perfect, especially when my stomach's hurting me. I put the blanket right on me. I feel great. So. Please like, share, subscribe. Um, don't forget to check out my other videos. Um, comment below. Let me know what you think. And also, again, it's from Bed Shore. And I'm going to leave a link right down below. Thanks for watching.